Hey there, thanks so much for tuning in to today's Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be using watercolors, so make sure that you have watercolor paint as well as paintbrush, water cup, um, some kind of watercolor paper, um, and maybe a paper towel or something like that for um, blotting your uh, wet brush. So as you can see, this is going to be a monochromatic painting, meaning it's only in lights and dark values of one color. So you can pick any color you want. And what we're going to do first is create this gradient wash in the background. And we're going to need to let that dry. So you can see I've put a lot of darker, more saturated, I should say, color on the edges of my paper. And then I'm leaving the center part to be a little bit more white. So the white of my paper is what I'm using for the white watercolor. Typically, you don't really see uh, white paint being used. So here I am just simply letting the white of the paper show through, meaning I'm adding more water and less paint. And for this part, you'd want to use maybe a mop brush or some kind of fluffy larger brush so that you don't have a lot of brush work being shown. Then when you get to the trees, you're going to use a finer detailed brush, maybe a pointed round brush, for example, could be a good one to use. And for me, this is a little difficult with water uh, painting watercolor on a digital version, so bear with me. There's going to be some funny little things here that just don't quite blend as well. But the important thing is if you're doing this you know, not digitally, you want to make sure you're leaving plenty of drying time in between those layers, okay, for that background. Let it dry for maybe an hour or so, come back to this, and then start working on these trees. And what you can see that I've been doing here is adding in some darker values. Um, so I've added a little bit of maybe, you know, just a darker pinkish purpley kind of color for burgundy uh, for those trees. And then I'm adding in a lighter pink with kind of variations on how saturated it is. And then adding in these tree branches. And what I'm doing is, um, and you could sketch this out in pencil first with a ruler, but you want them all to be pretty much angled towards the center. So the idea is that if you're like laying down in a forest or something and you are looking straight up, this is what you would see. So all of these trees would converge into that center point. So, um, and so yeah, so you're just basically doing different gradations of that same one color that you chose from the beginning. Um, if you wanted, of course, you could do this something more colorful, but the idea here is just taking the same values. And so I've got these trees painted and then my next step is gonna be adding in the leaves. Now, again, this is where you're seeing some of the funny little things come out because the watercolor brush on the app I'm using just isn't super great. So I do apologize for the um, funny little splotches. This will be so much easier to do with a rounded brush. So if you have a round brush, um, if you don't have a round brush, then I would use like maybe the corner of a flat brush, but a round brush and just kind of dot it, just stamp it, just use the brush tip as the leaves. And it, this part is, um, is good to do. You could do it while you're doing each one. So while you're doing the darker valued trees, you could go ahead and do it all at once. Like I said, it was a little tricky to do this digitally um, to show you, but you can do kind of each color at a time. And then again, let it dry in between because if it's wet watercolor paint, what will happen is if you put a little, let's say the dark um, pink magenta darker blob next to a lighter one well they're just gonna merge right like both of those little blobs of wet paint are just gonna become one and so if we're wanting separate little dots it's gonna be a little bit trickier to do that um, if everything is still wet so you might just want to work in layers kind of get all of the um, you know the darker ones done first including the little branches and its little leaves and then do the lighter ones. And you can always go back, of course, and add more, but let this be kind of a really fun, um, maybe just, I don't know, mindful little activity or mindless, I don't know which one it really is, but something that's just kind of 
relaxing and fun that you can just pick up whenever you want and come back to. So you could do a little bit for 30 minutes and take a break, let it dry, and then come back and add a little bit more um, and then let that dry and then uh, keep going until you feel like it's complete. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's video lesson and that it was really helpful for just playing with some watercolors and practicing that value. And again, don't forget that if you wanted to use a ruler to create um, a better sense of more accurate perspective, feel free to do that. I did not, I just kind of estimated um, on mine. It's digital, so it's a little bit tricky to use a ruler with that, but you could have done that if you want a more accurate representation of one point perspective. But eyeballing it can be also a really good practice um, just for being able to identify space um, and without needing that, that ruler and without having to be super technical. Mine, of course, has some places that's off, but it's not too terribly off, I think. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you'll tune in with me next time and that you have enjoyed today's video.